Hey friends! For today's story, we're going to check back in with some characters that we already met. Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast. So this is their second book and it is called The Case of the Stinky Stench. It was written by the same author, Josh Funk, and it was illustrated by Brendan Kearney. The rights to this book belong to Sterling Children's Books. Okay, here's the title page. Ready? Back in the kitchen and deep in the fridge, past Trifle Tower across Taco Bridge, on a vacation at Marshmallow Coast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. Knocking down syrup from Northern Vermont, over the bridge came Inspector Croissant. So inspector could mean detective. Oh. Uncle Croissant said, the fridge is in trouble. A horrible stench turned a whole shelf to rubble. I'm the last hope or the fridge will be lost. Help me or we'll be cooked, served, and sauced. Nefarious odors began wafting by as French toast replied, I will certainly try. So a stench is a really stinky smell. This book has lots of really big words. I've got to succeed, said Croissant with a sob. I've solved zero cases since getting this job. It's Baron Von Waffle, that devious square, said Pancake with anger. Let's head to his lair. In the first book, it was Baron Von Waffle that uh, used up the rest of the syrup. They started their search, crossing Salsa Ravine, and lumbered through smog around Mount Everbean. Slowly they crept to the onion rain cave. Baron Von Waffle said toast, you old knave. So onion rings can be kind of smelly, so maybe that is where the stench is coming from. What are you doing here? Waffle said, sneering. I'm sleuthing, Croissant said, and you're interfering. What do you know about smells that are vicious? Nothing, said Waffle. My house smells delicious. Ooh, there's lots of sweet treats in his house. So sleuthing is kind of like being a detective. He's searching for answers. Nephew, said Toast, Waffle's right. It smells splendid. The trio trudged out, but the case hadn't ended. The smell is getting worse, said Croissant with a shiver as Tater Tot stumbled through Applesauce River. An okra popped out of a red curry dish and said, there's a tale of stinky red fish who lurks at the bottom of Corn Chowder Lake. Great, said Croissant as he tripped by mistake. So that's a play on words. He tripped accidentally by mistake and he also tripped past Miss, as in a woman, steak in the fridge. Rowing their fastest with carrot stick oars, they studied the depths and they scanned all the shores. Ahoy, cried Croissant, a red herring right there. At last they'd unravel this stinky affair. Do you think that's the end? Did they figure out the smell? They paddled on forward, but as the boat neared, a flavorful, smoky aroma appeared. It seemed the red herring was just a bad clue. Dejected, the three didn't know what to do. It's time to give up, Pancake said with remorse. No, said Croissant, I'll discover the source. Inspector Croissant took a mighty big whiff. The odor is coming from Casserole Cliff. Peppers lay slumping and apples were dented. Plums shrank to prunes and the beans had fermented. That's when they saw it, the source of their woe. Are they about to find the stinky stench? A moldy old fruitcake from eight months ago. Someone destroy him, said Pancake, right now. Sure, replied Toast, but I can't fathom how. So there he is. He was forgotten, 
you got moldy. If you leave food in your fridge too long, that can happen. And it does not smell good. The fruitcake just cowered, alone looking scared. Life isn't all bowls of cherries, he shared. I entered the fridge, but then soon was forgotten. Slowly I crumbled, and now I'm just rotten. This is my cake, said Croissant. I'll prevail. Everyone knows fruit cakes never go stale. How would you like being left to decay? This is no villain. Let's help him make way. Together they journeyed past cliff, lake, and cave and offered the fruitcake a shower and shave. Soon the old fruitcake was fresh as could be. What's that delectable smell? asked Miss Bree. With all nasty odors destroyed and dissolved, the team celebrated and shouted, Cake solved! All right, so because they solved the case, they're having a party in the fridge. Everyone's super happy. Let's open up this part. Whoa, this is a map of all the places they traveled. We'll start at the top. So Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast, they went past and met a lot of different foods on their journey to find the smell. I'm wondering, what's your favorite food? Share with your mom or dad. Bye, guys.